Okay, we're out at the Fraser Point nest. Got three good looking nestlings here. That's A49, 64 you here. A little bit upset at our presence, but we'll try and get this done quick. We're gonna set up shop here and get ready to ban these guys. All right guys, so I'm sure you've probably seen by now Pete's uh, nest video of the three Fraser Point eaglets, uh, but I just wanted to walk you through the banding of one of those birds. So here we are just underneath the nest. We found a nice little shady spot to, to work on the birds to keep them from overheating or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, they're at this age still pretty docile in the hand. They're not really fighting back at this point or anything, so um, we just kind of are maintaining them securely while Pete works on them. So right now he's adding bands, two bands actually, one on each leg. One is just a all silver uh, serial numbered band that corresponds to Fish and Wildlife records. So if it's ever found, it can be reported to them for more information. You can actually see a little pile of those bands on that blue tarp in the back. The other one that the bird just got there is a alphanumeric band that if you get a good photograph of the bird, you can actually report it uh, to us or to Fish and Wildlife. Um, that's assuming that maybe it's lost its wing tags or something like that and we can identify the bird and get some information from that in terms of where it is and, and what it's doing. That tool that he's using, it's a kind of a handheld rivet, riveter. So you put a little, an individual rivet in that tool and when you squeeze down on it, it actually kind of blows up the end of the rivet with air and it seals the, seals the band together. Um, so that's what that tool is. Pete's now taking some blood uh, that we use for, if we want to, um, sexing the birds, determining if they're male or female. That's if the measurements we take in the field aren't completely indicative of male or female. Usually they are. The female beak measurements are quite a bit larger than males, so we can usually tell. Uh, but if we want to confirm, like we did with these, we can send the blood in to have it checked for the gender. Um, so he's drawn a little bit of blood there um, for that and also for future... Uh, study, research projects, things like that, um, so that we can uh, figure out more about the about the birds on a population level. Um, all right, so once he's got this blood, he's just probably about to finish there. Okay, yep, he just finished there. Uh, make sure put a little cotton ball on there, stop the bleeding. Um, then the last thing, the bird gets wing tags, as you guys are very familiar with. Um, there it just got its first wing tag, A03 as you can see. Um, Pete's just uh, optimizing the, the tag, making sure there's no sharp edges or anything like that on it. Um, and this bird is done, ready to go back in the nest. Alright, well once we finished with the Fraser Eagles, we decided to go out and give it a shot at uh, one of our oldest peregrine territories. This is West Point South, just right out at Fraser Point as well. Um, and so we went out there to, to band their nestlings, which are about three weeks old. This is uh, me with the nestlings after we've banded them, and I'm taking them back down to the Eyrie uh, to replace them. So we usually get the nestlings from the eyrie, take them back up to the top of the cliff where we work them up, do all the banding and everything in a nice, flat, safe environment, uh, and then we bring them right back down. This cliff wall is pretty cool. You can see all those really neat Dudleya Island Live Forevers on the, on the wall there. All right. Home sweet home. Done, huh? All right, so we're just collecting feathers so that we can have them identified. Oh, that's a tiny one. Have them identified sometimes the species and figure out what they're eating. 
I'm also looking for the occasional eggshell fragment. We can have those measured. Give us an idea of how thin or thick the eggshells are relative to other ones. So one thing that uh, this video really kind of illustrates is the the type of the type of nest, if you want to call it that, that peregrines create. You can see that they're they really don't build any sort of stick nest. Looks like this little ledge here may have been uh, an old raven nest. You can see there are some sticks kind of falling out the front of it, um, but peregrines don't bring any of that stuff in. They generally just find a, a ledge like this that has kind of suitable dirt or substrate and is relatively flat, usually on a vertical wall face, um, and that's kind of how they right. end up that's selecting their, their iris. Um, so this is a Here. pretty pretty typical iris for a, for a peregrine pair out on the Channel Islands. Okay, so these are about three weeks old peregrine nestlings, which is about the age that we'd like to be banding them at. They're old enough to be banded effectively without putting the wrong size band on and young, young enough that they're not very mobile yet or active with their talons, so they're easier to work with. Um, one question that we get a lot, oh, that little guy is definitely getting a little... A little mobile, but once he kind of finds his spot in the back of the nest, he they just kind of stay back there while we're while we're working. Um, one of the main questions that we hear from people, it's kind of an old wives' tale, is that um, once they get when nestlings get the smell of humans on them, the adults abandon them, um, and that's just not true um, for pretty much every bird species. Uh, birds in general have a really bad sense of sense of smell, and um, as you can see, the adults are still flying around me here um, trying to defend the eyrie so generally once I leave this area the adults will go right back to the eyrie and uh, care for the care for the nestlings all right so next we moved on to the smugglers eagle nest this is Aaron's camera view checking the nest a couple days earlier just to make sure it's still active This one smells a little more fishy. Yeah, it smells really <laughs> fishy. 34.5. Okay, so these are not, not a great view, but making some, some measurements of this bird. Um, based on these measurements, we determined that this was a female, uh, a pretty big female. She's almost two kilograms heavier than any of the birds in the Fraser nest. Um, Tarsal, tarsal, lateral, which is that lateral. This was the sort of the narrowest point, and sort of press it in a little bit. Fourteen point four one. Oh, that's it's male range. Let me try it again. Fourteen point four one. Okay. Twenty point six eight. Okay. What? That big. Yeah. What was the Coleman on this? Uh, fifty one point eight two. Uh, or I mean the depth. Uh, 34.5. Okay. So you're female, right? Yeah. How much did she weigh? I haven't done a bag, but it was 6.05 mm -hmm. with the bag. Well, heavier than the other ones. So this is, yeah. So this is right leg. She's almost two, I <laughs> think, heavier. Yeah. Two kilos heavier. Yeah.
five kilos. That's what happens when you're an only child. Yeah. Get yeah, spoiled and fat. <laughs> Yeah, these it sticks are, out kind of a lot. I think they gave us too long of a ribbon for these things. Mm. That's what they give us. Okay, so you guys are getting a really nice view there of the the bands themselves, as well as the bird's feet and talons. It's a pretty cool look at how big they've already gotten. Um, so we finished this bird really quick and got out of there pretty pretty soon after this. All right, there's the smugglers, eagle pair, A51, the female, and we're not sure who the male is there. We can't quite read his band. One of these days we'll get a good photo of it, though. That's Pete and Aaron leaving the peregrine nest after we banded that. We did the peregrine nest and the Fraser Point eagles in the same day. That's the west end looking nice and dry as of now. This is a... Uh, Pretty nice photo we got of A49 as we were going in to band her nestlings. And there's her nestlings in their nest uh, right before we went in and banded them. That's going to do it for this week's update. Thanks for being patient and waiting for it.